About how much wind do you need to actually spin this thing, Sam? We usually need about um, 17 k's. We'll get it spinning nicely. Get some um, current put out, voltage. So it's a generator actually in the turbine yeah. up there, is it? Like in the front bit there? Yep. As it spins, you'll get some uh, voltage out of it. And then what it comes down through the pole? Comes down, yep, through here. And we've got the cable coming down here. Yep. Go under the house and we just come across where's over our, there. What's this house being constructed for? Like, is it part of World Skills or what's the deal? Yeah, it's a sustainability project, basically. Well, like environmentally friendly, is that what that means? Yeah, pretty much, just to show how green we can be, all the um, resources out there and stuff. So, you've got wind power up there on the roof. What else, what else is green in the house? We've got the um, solar panel. Oh yeah, you got there. down there, yeah? Yep. Do you have to install that too? What's that, sorry? Do you have to install that as well? Yeah. And <clears throat> with the wind generator, we have your power come through up into here. Yeah. And then we go into the voltage regulator. Yep. Keep a constant voltage coming out of your uh, wind turbine. From there, we'll go into your inverter. The voltage coming out is only a, a DC voltage. That looks like something out of a caravan. <laughs> it sure is, yeah. This is the same thing? Yeah. Sure All right, is. okay. Just to get your um, 240 volts. Yep. And we'll take that and we'll be putting that into a special meter that you need. Have, you, put, have you installed that yet? No, the that goes around. on it at the moment. Oh yeah, the boys down there are working on it? Yep. Yep, they sure are. Does that meter measure just the stuff coming off your wind turbine or is it you need another one for the house meter as well? No, that one will do both. What you'll have right. is you'll have your um, mains current coming in, yep. which will get your meter going one way. And um, when you've got when you're producing extra current from your, your wind turbine, wind turbine and on your the roof, yeah. Solar panel, it will make the meter spin the other way. So at you know, at the end of the month, if you're um, in debt you'll pay, but if you've put too much into the grid, they'll... So the power companies pay you for generating yeah. stuff up on the roof? Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. It's not bad if you can work it that way. This one here is yeah. your um, Sunny Boy inverter. This is where your... Um... Sunny Boy. Yeah. Is this German? Oh. Well, actually, it looks like it. Probably would be. I'm not is too sure, to be honest. German sense of humour. <laughs> Fair enough. And yeah, so you'll get your... Um... So that goes into the solar panel down here? Yeah. All right. And so you'll get that, the solar panel will be hooked up to this. You'll get your 240 volts from there. So again, that's only DC. And then that will also go into your meter. So you've got your two forms of renewable energy. So what, how much could you reckon you could power off running these? If you had like a couple of solar panels on your roof and a wind turbine, is that going to power what, your lights? Or yeah, pretty you, much you'll be able to Could power. you run any appliances off it, like toasters or things, or um, heaters? Not, uh, probably not your heaters. I've yeah. probably used too much power, but... but um, small things, you reckon you could? Small things you could, yeah. All right. Do you learn all this stuff? I mean, you're an apprentice, is that right? Yeah. yeah so, what year are you in, like? Second year now, out at the mines. And you're like, which mine? Hey. Which mine are you working at? Um, CSA mine, out at Coba. What do you do out there? Are you We're above ground or are you below, below ground? No, at the moment I'm above ground. Yeah? For a um, copper mine. And basically the sort of stuff I'm doing is um, maintenance work and installing new gear, new sensors, make process Run smooth. How long have you been doing that? Uh, 16, oh no, sorry, 18 months. Oh, yeah. How'd you get the job? I uh, just applied for it and yeah, got it. Did you think about working anywhere else? I mean, no, why, I why, why going down the mines? Well, what's, is, oh, it, is, is the money good? Or, the money, yeah. Oh, it's a bit of a boom going on out there, is it? Yeah. Oh, uh, fair enough. Good. So what are you going to do on here? You're going to, this is the wire coming out of the, uh, out of your out of the turbine. turbine and yep. you're going to wire it up to here? Yep. Yeah. So we'll get on doing that now. How long does the apprenticeship go for? Four year apprenticeship. Yeah. So why Sparky? I mean, did you think about doing another job when you left school or? No, uh, I was pretty keen on being a Sparky. Oh yeah, why was that? Um, I've always sort of liked working with the um, electricity and stuff. The main, first thing that made me get into it was um, I did a sound system in my car over in New Zealand and um, oh, really sweet. enjoyed doing it. So. What, just like, like a sub and yeah. multi-speaker kind of setup and stuff? Some amps and stuff, yeah, it was pretty good. How many watts were you pumping out of that thing? It was 1100, I think. So, yeah, she, she made some noise. So you're doing tape out west now, are you? Or? Yeah, at a Dubbo. How much longer you got to go before you finish your apprenticeship? And... Uh, another year and a half of tape. And yep. then a, a year as a fourth year and um, I'm done, basically. And do you want to just keep being a Sparky when you finish? Or? I'm looking at um, getting into being an engineer. 
I want to get into All mechatronics right. and robotics and stuff. It's, um, Have you actually worked with any robotics yet? No, not really, to be honest. Okay. But um, yeah, what is it about robotics? I mean, is, is it robotics real, very different from this sort of work you're doing here? You've still got your control and stuff. This sort of setup, yeah, would be different too. The mines work. Uh, parts of it would be similar. I yeah. Suppose. Your controls and your sensors and that sort of gear, but um, no, I just would like to try it. I think I would enjoy it. Yep. Yeah, so. And you have to go to what university to do that, do you? Or? Yeah, and it's four-year degree. Fair enough. Yeah, right. so, uh, I did the trade first because I want to get the um, background experience. So doing a trade is going to help you. Like, when, what, you can't go. Can you go straight to uni or I, out of school? I could have if I. Oh, yeah. okay, but you went and did a trade first. Yeah, pretty much. Works out good. And I might not even like the engineering, so then I've got something to fall back on.